Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I've got this very cool blouse on that my sister gave me for my birthday. And the only reason why I'm bringing it up is because isn't it cool to have a sister that knows you well enough so that when I said thank you for the blouse because the little speckly brush mark patterns remind me of Monet painting that she said that's exactly what I thought and it's why I bought it for you. So thank you Amy for the birthday blouse. Anyway, um, today I want to talk to you about a technique that I have been using lately to add texture to my work and that is scraping molding paste over the base of my cradle wood panel before I add collage and before I draw and do the underpainting. So I'm creating a highly textured base that I'm working on top of and that texture sort of affects my collage layers, it affects my painting and it's been giving me a whole sort of new feeling in my work. So I wanted to share with you how to set up your own textured base using golden molding paste um, and gels. They have a lot of gels and products that you can choose from. You might already have some of them in your arsenal of your art studio. You don't necessarily have to get exactly what I'm using because there's light molding paste, there's heavy molding paste, there's fiber paste, there's thick gesso that you can use as well. Um, there are so many different pastes and um, mediums and gels that uh, you can do it with a lot of different ones. So the key is to experiment, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks as to how I've been doing it lately, and you can sort of use that as a springboard and experiment from there. So let's go check it out. Welcome back. Today I'm going to create that textural background that we can draw and paint and collage on top of. And the products that I have available in my studio today are Golden's coarse molding paste and regular molding paste. They have two different consistencies and I am also going to be spreading them with uh, old room keys, credit cards, gift cards. Um, those You can use other tools, palette knives, um, putty, spatulas, whatever you have on hand. Um, the, uh, the coarse molding paste is a lot, uh, very thick. It's very thick and heavy, and it's gonna give us a really good, um, highly textured surface. The uh, regular molding paste is a little bit less thick. You can see it's still hanging onto the card, but it's a little glossy and it's a little less thick. I think it's gonna dry a little bit uh, less opaque than the coarse molding paste as well. So I could use either one or both of these products and I am going to sort of just scrape it with my card. And I've primed this uh, with uh, orange gesso and I'm gonna scrape these products and leave a little bit of that uh, base color and, and the wood showing through to give myself a textural surface. So I'm not gonna cover the whole thing. Um, so I'm just grabbing it. This is the, um, the regular molding paste. I'm grabbing it with the credit card and I'm, and I'm just sort of dragging it on its side, uh, not totally scraping it down to the wood. So I've got some of that, that wood cradle panel showing through. And then I'm going to come through and grab some of this coarse molding paste and drag that. Um, so I'm sort of creating this kind of cool textured layer and then I'm going to scrape some uh, pattern into it or some striations and marks into it with my um, the corner edge of my card. So now I'm gonna add some more texture by scraping, dragging, re-scraping, and trying not to get rid of all of my orange lower layer. It kind of gets tempting to sort of spread it all over. So you have to make sure that you uh, don't have too heavy of a hand. And if you feel like you get it, um, so that you want to start over, you can just scrape it all off, wipe it down with a baby wipe and start again uh, before it dries. So I'm going to um, you know, play with dragging the card through it in some different angles and scraping and dragging and sort of, um, you can use a lot of different golden um, products for this. They have pumice gel, they have um, glass bead gel. There's all kinds of gels and mediums that you can use to drag over your surface and make an interesting, highly textural uh, base coat. So there you go. Um, this is gonna take a long time to dry. You do not want to rush this. You're gonna need to let this dry overnight at least, depending on how thick you lay it on. Um, and you could experiment also with uh, pressing um, some other tools, some household objects, uh, combs, or I don't know, kitchen tools, whatever, to make some different lines and marks and, uh, and patterns into the molding paste while it's wet. You could also stamp stamps into it. I mean, get creative, you know, drag, drag sticks through it. Uh, that is up to you. But um, so now we've got this textured 
face that we're just going to be patient and let it dry and it is going to be a place for you to start your next paper painting. Thank you for being here and happy Friday. Thank you.